a lot has happened since you last joined us, both on and off the game. So I'm going to have a little bit of talk and then we're going to jump straight into today's games. On with the videos. Hello everyone, Canberra on here, and welcome back to FM23 Swin and Town. Now, there is a lot to talk about, both regarding FM and... Anyway, I'll just get on with it. So, you might have noticed this... I don't know which way with the game. Yeah, this symbol floating around on my channel and my Twitter. Basically, that is the new channel brand. I made it on a website and then paid 20 quid to keep it. Money well spent, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to make a whole video about that sort of the branding and the era I'm going into uh, relatively soon, so stick around for that. But there will be some major changes about the way I do content and some of the ways I intend to move forward, simply because I'll explain it. So, in terms of the fixtures since you picked up, it's been okay. Um, Where were we last time? We lost to Oxford. Yeah, that wasn't great. So we beat Lane Orient with a penalty from Dylan Watts. They had a man sent off and still almost got an equaliser. Went out of the went out of the cup of the first round to fucking Portsmouth again. That's both cups that Portsmouth have knocked us out of. So that's three 0 win against Brentford under twenty ones. Luke Jeff got hat trick. Then we beat Portsmouth in the league because of course we fucking did. It could have been fucking two 0 and I will show you this because this is again more bullshit. So Luke Jeff got had a goal disallowed here, yeah which would have been 2-0, and it would have been great for the goal difference. Once it loads... So ball goes up. Pass, 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 goal. Disallowed. Now watch this. Oh, it didn't... Oh, oh, oh of course it didn't load it. Because I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because the line was perfectly symmetrical again. Not pronounced, but symmetrical again. It was a bullshit disallowance, and they know it, so therefore they won't show the replay to show why it's disallowed. I mean... Anyway. So... <clears throat> yeah, then we went and lost to Ipswich. Which was frustrating, because we actually took the lead, and then eventually we just got penned back to the point where they... Managed to score two quick by goals. Drew to Bolton, which was kind of frustrating. Adeloy made an appearance and scored his first goal of the season. He has now got a deal to go to Plateau United in Nigerian League. So he'll be off at the summer. I was planning to get rid of him anyway. I don't really care. Then we beat uh, extra on penalties. We really shouldn't have been on penalties, but uh, Will Gregg lost his man and scored a header. And I didn't realize that Will Gregg now plays for fucking extra. They are bottom of League 2, by the way. I'll just show you. Which is kind of sad, actually, because that's back-to-back -back relegations. Yeah, they, they are dead bottom of uh, League 2. That's quite sad, actually. Uh, and then, well, well, yeah, we've just drawn to Salford, where we took a really good 2-0 lead and then actually pissed it against the wall. And almost lost, which that was frustrating. So today, we're, today due to all of the schedule changes, due to Cups and International Duty... We've got Charlton away, and we've got Accrington at home. Two quite lower sides. But we'll still have to be careful. The games are literally every Tuesday and Saturday until about fucking January. And even then, I've still got to play Brentford under-21s again in the tro in the EFL trophy. So, we got a lot of chaos coming in. And then Shrews being rearranged. Shrewsbury has been rearranged as well. The games are coming way too fast. It's... There's a joke there, but I'm not going to make it. Anyway, any news with the squad? Well, basically, Saidu Khan broke his toe. And he's out for nine weeks. So, that's going to be fun. I might... I want to get another attacking mid in the transfer window anyway, because I'm trying to sell off Shade. But it means that Shade might not... I might not be able to sell Shade. If he goes, he goes. If he doesn't go, he doesn't go. So, as I think nine weeks takes... Oh, God. Let me go to the calendar. Can I get the proper fucking calendar, please? God, I think I think nine weeks takes him straight to about... He broke his toe here. That's on the December. Yeah, nine weeks is like four months. So he's going to be out till about March. Coming into, uh, coming into beginning of April. Jesus wept. Anyway, so I'm going to hit continue. And then I am going to see you for the Charlton game. Since all of the major stuff is now covered. So give me a second. All right, here we are to face Charlton Athletic. So, 
we got Schofield, Blake Tracy, Clayton, McDonald, Hutton, Gilby, Williams, Gladwin, Darcy, Reed, and Jeff Cott. We have Abu Kano on the bench. We've had to keep him on the bench actually for a while because of the uh, League One regulations. So we've got a team that's trying to deal with the fact that everybody is knackered from constant games. Interestingly, Mandela, Egbo, and Wallacott are playing, but Jack Payne is not. I know that Charlton have a lot of former Swindon players because they got raided at the end of last season. They also took Ben Garner, but Ben Garner by this point in the game has been sacked. Because the last time I checked on them, they were in the relegation zone in League One. They escaped under Lee Bowie, and now he's been sacked, and they've got... <coughs> they've got new managers starting today in Rob Edwards, he of Watford and Forest Green Rovers. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Oh, Jesus. Cold around here is giving me the snivels. And yeah, we don't you wear we we have given up wearing the white um second day. It's all about that green. So yeah, we're gonna go out there. <sighs> yeah, good put on the show. We I, I what Oh boy. So we're at the valley. Yeah. Payne isn't even on the bench, huh? Is he injured? That's 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 very interesting. I'll uh, check their squad in a minute. I'm not too fussed about, like, I'm looking, I'm more looking ahead towards the, um, the Accrington game. Yeah, Jack Payne just isn't featured. He's 30, oh yeah, he is 29, 30. You, you'd think they'd know about him, considering he was at Swindon for, like, a good couple of years. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah, I mean, he was, he was there for two years, you'd think he would, never mind. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Yeah, that was... I'm, I'm, oh, wait. Do need to put him on his weak foot, though. I mean, he was supposed to be pressed, but whatever. Uh, Tom Clayton there was kicking it directly into his own net. Oh, this could be a long game. Well, at least... I mean, well, I'm, I'm, I'm looking into the Akron game. I mean, this is quite weak as it is, because fucking... I don't have a very particularly strong... Squ See, this this is fucking irritating. So why why does it? If he's being drawn away from position to Mark Ineke... Because Aneke is there. So why is it that it's not um, McDonald doing it? It's so fucking stupid. All right. Pfft. Why does that not pass out there? That. Oh, of course, we don't have... Um, Read because of fitness reasons. Oh, for God's sake, nobody even challenged for that. Uh, it's going to be a long evening. Ugh. Uh. It's corner release. Can we set, can we actually attack this one, please? I don't know. I know I know Gladwin is tall, so we're gonna put Gladwin on the corners because at the moment it's just not doing anything. Uh Oh, we don't have a Of course I don't have both of my fucking things on. Yeah, I don't have any... Con don't have read or... Yeah. So who's taking the set pieces then? Uh, Jesus. Reese Devine. Uh, who else can take one? Uh... uh Get Darcy to do it. 
It's the only person I think to do it. He's eight on corners. It's not great, but it's not. The only other person who can do it is the guy that I actually want attacking them. So, you know. What the fuck happened there? You see, I couldn't see that. Uh, got to the head of Blake Tracy. I'm going to take McDonald. McDo McDonald seems to really be struggling under the whole fucking weight of playing this kind of football. Put Matt Coleman, center defender on the fend. See if he does a better job. Ooh, Darcy pulls one back. Okay, we might have a chance here. Yeah, I, I think... I, I've already mentioned I'm going to have a massive clear. I think Shade is going to be sold in the January because I need to get a, uh, somebody else who isn't. But I was going to do it. Now, sorry, Khan's out injured. Um, But that means it's between Darcy and Shade to play attacking mid, but I might get someone else in. Um, I've scouted Matt J of Exeter City because he's been one of their bright spots in their terrible season so far. Oh, Egbo, no. Oh, and you see, Livinier tries to do shit like that, and he just spaffs it wide. Look at that. That's the other thing. Like, Christ. Do I have Divine on the bench? Yes, I do. I'm going to bring him on, because I'm Blake Tracy has been fucking abysmal. Oh, fuck. Almost through. You know, I'm actually going to just put on Abu Kanu. And then I'm going to... Just in I'm, I'm not going to go nuts. I'm just going to encourage them. Uh, can I actually do that? I know Shade can play striker, but I don't think I've got any subs. Oh, an unconvincing one. All right. Uh, best I can probably do is put on Louis Reed. I don't think I can make... No, I can. All right. Put you to CM on sport. Actually, let's go CM on attack. Push you forward. I think... Um, I mean, it's not going great. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Oh, wow. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, the, the problem is we've got 12 shots, one on target. Because the only thing we've done all game is just hit the ball long and just try and hit random shots. Meanwhile, Charlton have just passed straight through us. It's actually what I want to be doing to teams, but they don't seem to want to do it for some reason. Uh Yeah, that their left back has been their best performer by far. Ours was Hutton, basically. Uh that was kind of shit. Yeah, Blake Tracy, McDonald all did bad. Reed was ineffective. Glad was ineffective. <coughs> we got problems in this fucking team. And I'm pissed off at that because we were basically let down by our back line being absolutely horrific. I I don't think we have. Jesus. I I'm I'm on with this but I'm I'm on with Evelyn here. That is such a knee jerk reaction. One defeat all equals oh no, we're getting relegated. Jesus Christ, guys. Uh 
Fuck that noise. All right. I'm going to head out to Accrington. Okay, time to face Accrington, who are in the relegation zone. Let's get a better result than last time. So we got Schofield, Devine, Clayton, Farino, Lavinier, Reed, Gladwin, Watts, Darcy, Wakeling, and Reed. So we've got two Reeds. Uh, actually, how has Jeff got? I might be able to fit him in. Uh, I'll put him in the subs bench. So, uh, what am I looking for? Divine is just going to have to suffer. Um, yeah. Because I can't take Abu Kanu off the bench because of the fucking rules over the fucking uh, trains before the age of 19. Okay, we've set the instructions. Let's go. Well, at least somebody's motivated. <coughs> yeah. Right, let's get a good result, please. Uh, I mean... We tried, but I don't think we're going to get it from that long. Oh, God, this is going to be looped. If we're just going to end up getting the ball looped over, that's going to be annoying. Uh, right. So, hopefully after this we can get some pretty good results. I We're getting towards the point now by January I want to be picking up, like, enough points to maybe at least... Oh, for God's sake. I'm really tired of this. Problem is, it has the right center. It has the right center back marking the left forward, and they get drawn out of position. So why don't we have take off this? We have Chris Freno getting in, and he will mark the fucking central striker. Why is that so difficult for this game to understand? But you know, I put the mark player on, and it's supposed to be in general, but it just ends up like fucking doing a thing. Having a specific player, and it always seems to be the one at the other side. So, it, it, it just makes no sense. Uh, well, that was a wasted effort. Yeah, we we've got to start hitting the target, guys. You you got to be able to score. You got to be able to hit the goal to be able to score the goal. Ugh, that does not help. Uh, I don't know. We were so we were doing so well. That was a hell of a fucking tackle. Uh, I might look and make some changes in a minute. The vine's probably gonna have to come off for Hutton. Ah, uh. oh, finally. It's Wakeling, to be fair, this season has started finding his scoring boots. That's, I mean, that's pretty good. You got Lavinia, and then that's just that's a peach for a ball, actually. And Wakeling is exactly where he needs to be to slide onto the keeper. That's pretty fucking good. So we've got the lead at least. Ah, he's never going to double. He was he was immediately fucking covered by the time he gets in. Ooh, Darcy almost. Your striker probably could have kept running with that. That's a mistake from their part. Anyway, I'm going to put... Hopefully this won't backfire. I'm going to put Hutton on. And I'm going to grab Gilby. Put him here and put him in a ball-winning midfielder on support. Because that's where he really does shine. I've been keeping him as, like, the the linchpin to replace Reed, But Gilby's really done better in midfield. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, 
E it's getting a little bit tight now. Come on, don't screw this up. Oof. That was actually quite close from Hutton there. I'm actually going to make that change. Uh, put Mark Helmer. Because I think I don't want Clayton to get knackered. We need him. Oof. I'm really getting bullied off the ball there. Ooh. Schofield can catch that. Reed shouldn't have turned around there. He should have just kept going. There's, there's, so, there's so much issues with like players stopping. And just doing whatever the fuck they think is right. He has made that last change. So Jeffcock can come on, and then I think that's all I really can make then. All right, that well, he wasted that. All right, we got a corner. Can we do anything? <laughs> nah, I'm not going to do that, because every time we do that, about five minutes later, in, like, the game timer, it's fucking... Oh, we're not get we're not making any of our crossing. It's been really poor. We should go back to working the ball into the box. Because that makes fucking sense. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. That's pure FM. And part of that came from the fact that fucking... Yeah, so we... Yeah, Hardy's basically on top of his man there. Welcome to Football Manager, where you can and will get fucking absolutely screwed over like that. Not that we've had, like, 15 fucking shots and only got two on target. Yeah, 14 shots, two on target. Because everyone else, aside from the goal scorer, was actually underperforming in front of goal. Ugh. That's really frustrating. That's pure F that's pure football manager in its heart. No one can else can score a fucking goal. We're not in a Oh my god, we are not in a relegation battle. But we are sliding down the table and it is a little bit concerning. Uh shit. Well that's a problem. Ugh. Because, of course, we're playing bottom, nearly bottom of the table. Of course, we're going to screw the game up. Because we couldn't kill it off. Because we can't seem to find a goal from more than one goal at these days. Anyway. All right. Yeah. That uh, is fucking painful, actually. In the league, we are. We haven't won in five games. Uh, that's nice. Um, when are we going to come back, then, for... Right, so where are, where are we? We're here. So... Tell you what we'll do. We will come back for the under-21s, the game against Brentford under-21s, and MK Dons. Because the Pizza Cup actually looks interesting now. We're into the quarterfinals of it. Uh, there we go. We're into the quarterfinals of it. We've got some decent under-21s teams still in it. And then, if we get through to the... Where's the tree? Oh, it's not going to load it until we're actually through it. Because I think after this, we've got two more... Yeah, we've got two more games in it, and then we're through to effectively the final against the northern section. So, in the, I mean, in the northern section, you've still got... All of these teams, well, like Man United 21, Leicester under 20, yeah. I'll tell, I, on an honest opinion, fucking... 
it the the piece the Papa John's or the the FA Cup the FA Le- the EFL Cup. Is it? Oh no! What is it? The, yeah, the EFL Cup got kind of ruined when the Premier League effectively strong armed the FA into letting them enter their under twenty ones, because the whole tournament now just kind of turned into a training exercise for the under twenty Premier League under twenty one teams. In some ways, it's quite good for the League Cup teams, but kind of ruins it because effectively now an under twenty ones can go in and win it. And it really, it makes the whole thing a little bit. I don't know. I think it cheapens it. I'd, I'd like to hear some opinions on that, to be honest. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. Join me next time to see whether we can do something in the Pizza Cup. Uh, that'd be Canberra Run. Thank you for watching. <laughs>